Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how I make my duct tape wallet. Um, I'm going to be making one today that is pink, um, pink and white. It's going to eventually be a Hello Kitty wallet. Um, okay, so the first step is to take um, either one color or two color. I'm going to use one color for the billfold, which is going to be white, and one color for the outside, which is going to be pink, and do four of each. Four uh, inch four strips that are eight inches each so if you look these in um, these are a little bit more than eight so this is about eight and a half so but um you want to have eight strips that are eight inches long so step two is once you have your all your strips if you have a cutting mat this is this is how I do it because I do have a cutting mat I line up this uh this last strip right here up with this at the very bottom, which doesn't really matter right now, but, um, whatever. And then you overlap this one just a little bit. Just a little bit, not that much. You want to make it so that your, uh, essential sheet eventually is going to be 7 inches. Or a little, no, actually a little bit l uh, less than 7 inches, just like that. Um, and that is your next step. So after you have that done, you want to take it up, take, uh, taking the whole thing, and flipping it over so it's sticky side up. And then once again, line it up with the very bottom of your cutting board. This is how I get my brims to be the same. Then you take the other color. This is going to be your inside color, whatever your color you're about to put on. And then you even it with the beginning of the one inch mark, and you put it down. Like that. And then you fold the lip over. Like, th like this. Like that. So you have a little um, border. And then again, you just want to put the strips on. So they are overlapping just a little bit. And then... Line your very last strip up with the one, the very beginning of the one inch mark. Push it down and flip it over. So now you have a sheet, a duct tape sheet that is one color on one side, an um, another color, and it has a brim. This is going to be my inside color, and that is that step. Okay, so so this is the actual like when you actually get the form of a wallet. So you're gonna want to fold it in half so it's directly even and then push it down to make a, a crease um, sometimes if I have time um, I press this but since I'm, I'm gonna make a video of it I'm not going to but then take the color that's on the outside of your wallet which is my case pink and take this and just put it down and just line up the very top of your wallet and then just cut it like that. And then you want to cut this strip in half or somewhere around half like that. Um, so that's your next step, but I'm going to go right into the next step. And you're going to want to trim off the uh, edge just like this. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. You can just again like that, and then take the half of like the half of your strip, and I start always at the bottom right here, and put half of it on one side, push it down, flip the wallet over, and put it there, like this, and then do the same thing on the other side, trim it, and put the piece on. That would be your next step. Okay, so now you have the essential core of your wallet. This is the exact wallet that um, I use. Uh, I choose whichever side looks the best, which I, I would say is this side right here. And then I fold the wallet directly in half. I line up the two edges, and I make that crease. And then I have this like post-it note holder, and it's pretty heavy. And I use that to press the wallet while I'm making the pockets. 
So the next step is obviously making the pockets. And to do that, I'm going to be making white pockets. So I take a strip of white tape that is 16 inches long. Um, 16 inches. And this is because I make four pockets. And each pocket is about uh, four inches. So um, four times four is 16. So all the way over to 16 inches, which you can't see, but don't trust me, it's all the way out to 16. Okay, so now I have my strip of HD clear, which you can't really see, but it's definitely there. And my strip of white, which is the color I'm using for my pockets. And then, so then I just cut them down at like all the four intervals. So four, eight, um, and then at 12, which you can't see on the camera, and then... Obviously, 16 is already cut. So after you do that, you take one piece and flip it over. And then you take a piece of HD clear. And you stick it about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. So that way it's not all the way on. And you have this little flap over here. Which you just push over the front like this. This. So then you will have, do that with the rest of them. So you'll have four of these. Okay, so now I have my four pockets done right here. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to make the brim. So I took a piece of pink, which is my brim color and my pocket color. Um, and I cut it at about four and a, a fourth inch. Um, like this. And then I'm going to cut this into four. Doesn't really have to be perfect. Like this. And then you're going to want to take one of these strips and... Not on the sticky side down here, but where you put the HD clear before. You want to line the the brim straight on with that. And that way you always know that your brims are going to be straight. Like this. So then you have this. Um, and then do that again with the rest of your pockets. Okay, for the next step, you're going to trim off your... Um, the extra... And you're going to trim them down pretty much to the size of your wallet, like the, si the side of your wallet, a little bit shorter than that. So depending how short your wallet is, is depending how much you're going to need to cut off. So do that with all your pockets and then you're almost done. So once you have your pockets all brimmed, you should take the sticky side and place it a little, oops, sorry, far, like half an inch or so down on the wallet and just stick it down and then stick your next pocket and stick it all the way at the bottom like this so it's even like that and just take these uh, and even them with the pocket on the other side and like this like this so this is what your wallet should look like um, and then you should take a strip that's a little bit longer than the wallet itself and cut it in half and then cut that half, one of the halves in half. And then you would take one of these, the tinier ones, and stick it on here like this and push it down and then put all, any of the extra, just take it in a billfold like this. So that way these pockets are sealed down. And then do the same thing right here on the other side. Sometimes if these pieces are too long, you're going to need to fold them over the front right here. Um, but I just happened to get lucky, so it didn't have to. And then take your last, which should be your thickest strip, and stick it very down the center of your wallet to connect the middle of the pockets. And... Pretty much here's your wallet. All that you have to do now is just cut the slits in all the pockets. Um, so do that and then your wallet is pretty much Okay guys, so now you're done your wallet. Um, it has four pockets, a billfold, and here it is. Um, if you guys want me to do another tutorial, just comment. Um, I'll show you how do I do designs if you want. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. If you like it, don't thumbs down, just don't do anything. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.